It's ironclad. Greetings, Neo. Lose all gold rare relic or obtain a hundred gold. Hmm. Hmm. Slime boss. Lose all gold rare relic, huh? I like lose all gold. Could make it work. Yeah, let's do this. Excuse me. Let's do this. Because it has options. I think this way just gives you less options as early as the first floor of the run. Yeah? I don't know why you'd want to end up going this way instead of this way. But neither do you. So nobody knows. So maybe you do. So starting here is just objectively better than here. Yeah? We could also take 100 gold. And go here. I don't want to do that. Oh uh, yeah, I kind of do. Kind of do. Nah. Let's take a rare relic. It's slime boss and the bad hits on rare relic. As far as making it out of act 1 alive. The bad hits on rare relic are maybe wing boots. And... Uh, wing boots you probably make it through the act alive. But it's still a bad hit. Turnip and ginger is what I'm trying to say. Turnip and ginger are not so great. But they both play against Slime Boss, so... Oh! Okay. <laughs> Maybe. Nah. Well, we'll use it. We'll use it. Strength is good. What is this? Is this Bash? I think this might be Bash. Bash defend. Maybe it wasn't. Maybe it was two strikes defend. I think it's fine. Perfected strike. Power through. Bloodletting. Perfected strike is good damage early on. And this is the truth. But the thing is, is that I'm going to want to upgrade that perfected strike. And then ignore the gear, yeah. Which is also maybe fine. Power through blocks for a lot. I don't know if we need power through. Right now. Maybe we do. Maybe we're supposed to draft damage right now. Bloodletting is also a card that's probably okay as early as the first floor. Is that true? I think that's an okay assessment. I almost want to take this early bloodletting. Like, I think all of these are takeable here. I don't really trust the Perfected Strike, because Perfected Strike is like, if you have nothing better going on. But we could have something better going on. We could lift here. And then lift up here. I almost want to take this, just because... I know it's speculative, but I'm testing it out. Speculative bloodletting. Okay, I don't like it so far. This is strike, isn't it? And then you just hope to draw another strike and you say burning blood's got the rest. Burning blood take care of it. Yeah. Pommel strike. It's good. It's a good card draw. I don't know if it's ever gonna get upgraded. But I don't know if Geary is gonna be used. Do you ever just rip Essence of Steel here? Hey, like, how big of a fan are we of Essence of Steel? Is that lame to use it? But if we get two potion drops here, then I'm not going to regret it, I don't think. I don't know. It's doing something right now. I'm not good at knowing when to use plated armor potion. So forgive me. That was probably not a good time to use plated armor potion. Sort boomerang with the Garia. If we really want to, Anger is also good. Good here. But we have a Bloodletting, which maybe makes the zero cost attacks ever so slightly less desirable. Palmal Strike also does play with Bloodletting. I kind of like this idea with the Gearia. Cool. 
Awesome. Almost striking bloodletting in there. Bash plays bad with sword boomerang. I'll just count on drawing another attack. All right. This is probably not worth playing, huh? We're only weak for one more turn. We'll do it that way. All right. Anger. Just make sure our damage is there. Just add a bunch of damage cards. I like, I'm looking forward to the Sword Boom rank area. Yeah. Truly. I can't wait. Strength potion. Don't think I want another sword boomerang. You just gotta lift. Sure, pommel strike wants an upgrade. Sure, eventually bloodletting will want to upgrade. Sure, sword sword boomerang, sword boomerang <laughs> wants an upgrade. But you have to lift now. Otherwise, you just never will. It's like in real life too. Works that way. Kind of want to use strength potion for this fight. Nice. Close. Close. Mercury Hourglass is good damage. Twin Strike to dump our strength as well. Just add every attack in the game and you'll be okay with Ironclad, trust me. Mercury Hourglass. Another Essence of Steel. Kind of want to just hold on to that. Double tap, huh? Pummel with our strength? No, no, no. Double tap. Double tap. Pommel strike. Double tap. Sword Boomerang. It's not the worst double tap in the world. But I don't really see... Us being extremely happy about that double tap when Slime Boss gives us a bunch of slime and then we draw a double tap with slimes and defends. Not exciting. Ooh. Good. Look how tiny. I almost want to defend. Nah, but we'll do this just in case, because I don't know how to use plated armor potion. Is that it? Strength! Strength for me. Of course I am. Curse me, please. Please, do it. Do it. Okay, that's nice. I think we remove strike because we have so much damage. So that's 16? 9? Not? Okay. You ever defend twice? We have Mercury Hourglass too. 
I might just defend twice. I don't think you were supposed to twin strike that guy. Well, why would you ever defend twice here? That's just wrong. That's just objectively wrong. It's a terrible idea. It's one of the worst ideas I've had. That'll do. Toy Ornithopter's fantastic sustain. Dual wield? The wield what exactly? Pommel strike? Sword boomerang? I think I'll pass. Kinda wanna go to an event. I don't know. Let's go to an event, why not? Okay. I like the whetstone. I could get behind the whetstone. Any hit is good. Any of these. Really, these are what we're looking to hit. And Bash. I like the whetstone. I kind of just want to buy whetstone. Because we're behind on upgrades because of Geria. We'll take it. And it's done just like that. You got to do it or you never will. We've got four strength. And we have a Mercury Hourglass. This is splitting him, and that's a terrible split. But next turn is good. Very good. So Mercury Hourglass exists. And we just get like Sword Boomerang. Easiest fight of my life. These are some interesting relics. Reaper with our strength. Probably... Tripper. Since we... Well, we used Garia already. But there's stuff to upgrade. Pommel Strike and Bloodletting. And we're never gonna rest because we have Fairy in the Bottle, Toy Ornithopter, and Reaper. And you could take Curse Key with Duvudal, but Curses are not that good. Not that good. So I think we should be strong enough to ice the Super Elite. <laughs> yeah, especially with Insect. We could just take the Elites instead. Which is fine. But I kind of like getting super leap over with. We also don't have to commit to anything. We go this way and decide from there. But I definitely want to get this pommel strike upgraded. We're strong. <laughs> we have four strength. No, no, not that one. But it could be. Power potion over colorless potion. Yeah, because we don't have powers. This could give something like Evolve for this fight. Mutagens? It's got to be mutagens, doesn't it? Transform 2 is powerful, though. Transform 2 is good, but I think it's got to be mutagens for the strength. For the strength. And you could take this, but I don't... I'm not a fan. I mean, we got Reaper. So it's, it's fine. But I, Mutagens is free. Transform 2 is also really, really good, though.
Essence of Steel! <laughs> Jeez. I don't want to go to that shop, man. We don't have to go to that shop anyway. We could go this way. Still take our time in deciding which path we want to take. Because it's either these three elites. Or it's... Get the super elite out of the way. Reaper. We should get chosen, right? Should be totally fine. Even with the weaken. Even with the weaken. I like the burning pact a lot. This is automaton. I like that burning pact. Card draw is good. And... Yeah, we can help. It'll help manage angers. We have this bloodletting to combo with it. We upgrade pommel strike. Upgrade the bloodletting. Or the burning pact. Upgrade both of them, hopefully. It looks like... Both of these paths have fires to accommodate our upgrade needs. I don't want to do that. There's no real reason to do that, huh? We're at full HP. Like, that's a lot of current HP that it's asking of us. If we're at 38 HP, then, you know, or whatever, if we, you know, it matters that we're at full HP. I'm going to say no. I kind of want to take the three leads and just try to get stronger. And it doesn't really matter what we do uh, next act because we just path to the super elite. You know, we don't have anything better to do next act, more than likely. And we're... Healthy enough to take an elite right now. But I also don't mind the events in this act. But we already got Augmenter and Council of Ghosts. I'm gonna go this way. Take the three elites, capitalize on the insect. I'm gonna save this Reaper for when we take damage in this fight. Probably should have taken Transform 2 instead of Mutagens, but had to take Mutagens, man. I'll save Reaper for when I take damage. Hello, bag of prep. <laughs> Okie doke. Humble Strike just gets played when we see it. We should upgrade it for that reason. Oh my gosh, this hand. This hand. We're just powerful. It's as simple as that. <laughs> and Chaku's all right. Feel no pain. Yeah, feel no pain with the burning pack. Like it's just bound to make us happy. And double tap with the Nunchaku. Double tap Pommel Strike. Double tap Reaper. It's not the worst double tap in the world. I'm gonna take feel no pain. I think we can key that. I love a smiling mask, but I think we can key that right now. You could recall if you wanted. Truthfully, you could recall if you wanted. I want to upgrade Burning Pact and perhaps Bloodletting at the next fire. Just in case. Just in case for the hex. For the dazed.
Reaper's really good. It plays with feel no pain. Sword boomerang plus. I'm gonna pass up on that block potion too. Sorry, Ornithopter. It's not your fault. I would really like to see that bloodletting. Man. I'm still playing Sword Boomerang. That's so much damage. Maybe it was bad to play Reaper there. Just maybe. We'll never know though. Because we're just healing everything back. All the defense, huh? And we still have this fairy in the bottle too. I don't know how we beat Automaton really. I will say that much. Not quite sure on that. True Grit. And we can upgrade the True Grit. True Grit's fine. Yeah, we could take True Grit and upgrade it. I'm not super excited about it. Like, Burning Pact is kind of getting the job done as far as that's concerned. True Grit is a little bit more block. You know, a little bit of block. And we can upgrade it. Okay. Anchor is nice. Bloodletting plus? Ah, if only. That's not like the worst ever. There's also this drop kick. And you could do that. Drop kick with the pommel strike plus in the bloodletting. And a burning pact with pommel strike and bloodletting. That's probably infinite already if you want to do something like that. We really don't need to. And we passed up two double taps. I think I want to lose the anger here. I don't think we'll need anger. I want to save this power potion. Because you never know. Taking the sword boomerang? I'm striking. I don't care about the five block. We'll use Reaper. You're the one with Sword Boomerang, huh? I'll remember that.
And I'll just defend here. Defend here. Sorry, Nunchaku. Did we just lose Bash here? We could lose Bash, huh? I don't really want to lose Twin Strike or Subum Subumarang. <laughs> Why can't I say Sword Boomerang? It's not that hard. Is Bash going to get played twice more? Maybe. Maybe, just maybe. Maybe. Speaking of maybe. Maybe I'm using my potions very, very poorly and improperly and incorrectly. This is possible. I'm just gonna bloodletting bash. Boo. Oh, we have ornithopter. Because if we do this... But here's the deal, is that we have Ornithopter. So we can simply do something like Dark Embrace. And live. And then redraw that Burning Pack. Not Chaku, by the way. I think I'll pass. I don't know. <laughs> hey, Empty Cage? Empty Cage is kind of underwhelming because we have the exhaust for the strikes and defense that we don't care about. And it's probably just Collar. Because energy is good. Tiny house, I mean, the max HP and the looking at a card and the gold and the potion for the ornithopter and the random upgrade, which you're really just hoping is hitting bloodletting or feel no pain. I'm taking collar. But we can go to a shop and have a bunch of money and we can take out the super elite. So just like that. Just like that, folks. I like the events in this act. A lot of rare relics. Orb walkers, mind bloom. Another True Grit Plus. I don't mind another Burning Pact. I really don't mind another Burning Pact. And we can always Burning Pact to Burning Pact if we would like. We're going to have even more energy with Collar. I don't mind another Burning Pact. This is Donu and Dekka is the first boss. Card draw good. We could lose anger. I'm not in love with the anger anymore. Get a little bit of a heal. Okay. 
Akabeko Sword Boomerang with the Sword Boomerang on sale. Wow. I want to buy Discovery. I want to buy that Discovery. It's 89 gold. That's not a lot. I want to buy that Discovery and upgrade it. And then we could start playing Bloodletting, playing Burning Pact to draw back into the Discovery, play it again, and then we just keep on playing Discovery. We keep playing Discovery until we get stuff like Barricade or Dual Wield on the Reaper. There's a lot of cards that we could be happy to see that we have not seen. Does that make sense? I want to buy that Discovery. Uh, there's also another Feel No Pain. So it's like Discovery, Feel No Pain, Remove. Akabeko is interesting. I don't think we need it at this point, like in mid Act 3. But Akabeko Reaper could heal a lot. Akabeko Twin Strike, Akabeko Sword Boomerang. Those are all real. But those are kind of cute at this point. It's nothing really threatening. I like this. I do want to do Feel No Pain Remove. There is an Ancient T set, which... Nah, I mean, it's possible. It's very possible. Imagine not caring about Akabeko Sword Boomerang. Discovery is underrated. Discovery is simply underrated. Simply. Simply put. Question card is here. Pommel Strike plus, absolutely. But the Armaments plus is interesting. It would hit the Feel No Pains, and it would hit the Discovery, maybe the Burning Pact, and the Bloodletting. So really, I'm just interested in upgrading Bloodletting and Discovery, and we need to recall. Bloodletting, Discovery, recall. Yeah. I don't know if we need that Armaments. Like, I'd rather just take another Pommel Strike plus, because it's a really good card draw. And has been very kind to us. And Cultist Potion, I think I will trust over the Thorn Potion. Maybe recall right now? There's really no reason to do that. Since we know we're upgrading it, let's go ahead and get Discovery up there. Makes sense to me. Hey. Yeah. Discovery's gonna carry. Because this is stuff that we just haven't found, you know? These are cars that we just have not seen. And it's no one's fault, really. It's just that we haven't seen stuff like Evolve, Dark Embrace, Dual Wield would be great here with the Reaper, Limit Break with our strength. Like, there's a bunch of cars that we just haven't seen that would be great. There's another one. Might as well. Oh, with the Dark Embrace now, like... It's a whole other world. No reason not to. Because we're gonna heal back with this... Bat Reaper. We haven't found any strength scaling either. No barricade, entrench type of stuff. A lot of cards would be good here. That's also a good card. Discovery just gets better and better the more I see it. Yeah?
Leave Nunchaku on 9, Burning Blood, heal the rest. Not bad. Distilled over Cultist Pot, I could see it. I could see it, I think we're okay though. But I could see it. A little meal ticket. Get recall out of the way. Sure. I guess? I kind of want to take Severusol. More damage. Defend is going to be the worst card in our deck in this fight by a long shot. Click. Don't make me look silly. Uh, let's exhaust the defense. Feel no pain. It's gonna. It hurts kind of to not upgrade the feel no pains. Hurts kind of. But only kind of. You gotta understand. It is only an upgrade from 3 to 4 after all. It's a solid upgrade because it's gonna get value no matter what. But it is just from 3 to 4, you know? Hey, Burning Pack draws another card. I wanna upgrade Burning Pack. But I want to upgrade Bloodletting too. So I don't know. Is this your last turn, my friend? So let Sever Soul do it then. Corruption. Corruption. I don't know, really? I'm trying to play Discovery multiple times. I'm trying to go like Burning Pact, Bloodletting Discovery, Burning Pact, Bloodletting Discovery. Play this over and over again. Look for Dark Embrace, Shockwave, Feel No Pain, Limit Break, Evolve, Dual Wield, Exhume, Impervious. Stuff like that. Stuff that we just haven't found. It's no one's fault, but Ironclad's. It's Ironclad's fault. Everything is. And... Uh, corruption, it's just that once we get past these fights, it really doesn't, it's really just not going to get played. It's not going to get played, because the point of the deck is to try and get discovery to get the solutions, like disarm and all of that, and shrug it off as possible. It's just that I'm not impressed, because eight block, whatever, we can heal with Reaper, and at the end of the day, is just doing what Burning Pact is doing with two Feel No Pains out, except it's not drawing three cards like Burning Pact is. Like, that's a card that we just haven't found that I would really like, but we just have not found. How low, how low she is. Peasant. Wow. You could make an argument for keeping fairy, or rather keeping cultist potion over fairy. You could make an argument for that for sure. I still stand by Discovery should give us the strength scaling that we need if we just play it enough times. I like the armaments. I like the armaments. Is that crazy? It's probably too late or too something. I don't know. But we can't really upgrade it, huh? 
We could upgrade it. We could definitely upgrade that armament. What else are we doing at that fire? Upgrading bloodletting or burning pack. Bloodletting with the ice cream now. But we could just upgrade armaments and get everything upgraded. Get whatever discovery creates for us. Get that upgraded too. I like the armaments. Is that so wrong? Perhaps. But discovery into dual wield. Armaments the dual wield. I, I like what armaments implies. But it does only block for five. Even when upgraded. Do we really need to armaments whatever comes out of discovery? Is that something we need to do? Hopefully not. With two fairies. I'm gonna take a second fairy, but I understand the argument for Pulse's Potion. Which is, hey, maybe against Awakened One, maybe against Donu and Dekka, maybe against Time Eater. You would like more strength. <laughs> you know, and you would like that to be guaranteed. So you can get a big fat reaper before you die. That's the idea. Hi, Emily. You definitely play bloodletting. Is this one of those times where you just rip Emily? Sword Boomerang is terrible in this fight. I'm playing the Emily. Whatever. I'm playing it. We'll heal with Reaper. And with Burning Blood. And we are strong. We must bear this in mind. Rupture is another card that we would like and have not found. But here it is. Yeah, or well, it's not. It's ghostly armor. But yeah, you know what I mean. Nah, okay. I don't want to end this fight with Nunchaku on nothing. Okay, one it is. Spot weakness. Interesting. I don't know if that's a scaling we're really looking for, but it's gonna get used against Donu and Dekka. The spot weakness is not bad at all here. It works against Donu and Dekka all the time. And... We can cycle it pretty fast with the Reaper. I still... I just want to get to my function really quick, you know, and just get discovery to get us cards like that get the feel no pains in play it's kind of like a liability we don't need that strength very soon in a fight yeah and true grit is also possible it's a true grit plus i kind of like that true grit plus i do thins the deck out very quick two pommel strike plus two Burning packs and two True Grit Plus. We upgrade the other Burning Pack. I want to upgrade Bloodletting. I don't think we need it. But it's tempting. Juggernaut? I want to take the Seeing Red. Wow, almost already out of the picture, my friend. 45? 45. I don't know if I could tolerate that.
Uh, we'll tolerate it, I guess. 789, we'll tolerate it in the name of Nunchaku. Heal a little bit back with Burning Blood. Blue Candle, not doing a whole lot. <laughs> we don't even have Dark Embrace for it, and I'm really not trying to be vulnerable for two turns. Armaments. They're showing this Armaments again. We could take it and upgrade it. I don't mind it. I don't mind it. Get this stuff upgraded, get the Burning Pact up. What are we upgrading next? Fire. Burning Pact or Bloodletting? Probably Bloodletting. In that case... In that case, what? I don't know. In that case, Burning Pact or Bloodletting... Do Feel No Pain upgrades really mean all that much? They're fine upgrades. It only blocks for five? I don't know, I don't really mind it. I'll take it. And I won't think twice. I don't think Bash is gonna happen. I'm looking for armaments. Looking for armaments for that feel no pain right now. Okay. Well, it didn't matter, it's fine. I want to get the offering so I could draw past all of this stuff. And we got bloodletting up. Very, very nice. Play this first. That's still a pretty nice armaments, yeah? And we got ice cream, so might as well. Play bloodletting. Bloodletting. Do you have a burning pack to burning pack? Maybe. I'm gonna do a daze first, though. We're in no rush. And neither is Ironclad. This is a card that we could just exhaust. Maybe we could play it, but... Do we need two Pommel Strike Plus? I'm gonna say no. And we're looking for something like Dual Wield for this uh, Reaper. No more plated. No plated for you. Barricade's pretty good. If I do say so. Rupture. Then we upgrade it with armaments. Evolve. Then we upgrade both of the. Oh, we already upgraded Rupture. I don't know if we really need to try to look for dual wield for this. pretty good spot. We just need some strength of some kind. Okay. So now we get four strength for every three HP that we lose, which is going to be dumped directly into eight HP that we get back from these guys. Yeah? So 
So it's always worth playing the bloodletting when we see it. Double tap on the Reaper. Huge. What else? Probably don't need Pommel Strike anymore. Could try making him vulnerable too. Play this twice. Vulnerable. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no, no. We could do this. That should be a full heal. <laughs> of course, it's a full heal. Discovery is an awesome card. I love Discovery. Seven's fine. It is okay. Isn't it okay, time meter? Is it tolerable? Upgrade the Burning Pact or try to upgrade what comes from Burning Pact? Upgrade the Burning Pact. Do you ever just play the Burning Pact? To lose a Defend Plus? I don't know, we got Feel No Pain? We're okay. Uh, almost want to do this. A lot of draw coming up, yeah. Brutality to counter the draw reduction. Should be fine. I must say armaments could go now. Heavy blade. I want to take Infernal Blade to get more block from Feel No Pains. That's also nice. Do you ever do 10, 11, 12? I don't like this time meter at all. I think you have to do 10, 11, 12 and lose Reaper. 
we could try discovery into exhum maybe if we wanted but we're also pretty strong Okay, I guess we lose Nunchaku. <laughs> Preserve both our potions. Ornithopter's gotten no love at all. Kind of feel bad for it. But we got meal ticket. And... We got money. And what else do we got? Card draw upgrade? Bloodletting's possible. I feel like card draw upgrades the way to go. Wow. That could give us some cards that we're looking for. <laughs> this is an interesting shop though. I think Apotheosis is not necessary with the Arma Plus. So I think you buy Orrery for that reason. How many strikes do we have left? three card remove is not crazy here either so like card remove or huh. <laughs> rupture rupture reaper certainly there's nothing wrong with taking another reaper right I'm gonna just say there's nothing wrong with it. And yeah, rupture with the bloodletting. Some strength scaling. So these are the cards that we've been kind of looking for, yeah? Perhaps remove defend is more reasonable. Strikes are better for us. Nunchaku and our strength and we just heal back with Reapers. And we're on our way. Combust with the rupture. Okay. Combust rupture. Hard draw is good. Blue candle with the rupture. We have two Reapers. Ah, it's, it's ignorant to spend Reaper like that. That's just ignorant. Wow. Fine. Fine.
That's fine. More strength. More strength! Yay! <laughs> it's a strength deck, everyone. It's a strength deck. In case we couldn't tell. This is a very good opening hand, by the way. Wow. Wow. Do you armaments that? You got to, huh? The people love a limit break plus. For the shuriken. Uh, I should have done that first then, huh? Oh well. Bash? I don't even think he played Bash. What's Bash for? We have Tooth Fairy in the bottles, huh? Burn with the rupture. Dark embrace, huh? With the true grit and the burning pact and the reaper in there. I'm really happy that the discovery carried its weight. Ooh. I almost want to armaments that. Why not? All these need to get armaments too. The defend, the bash. The bash doesn't really need it. About to get to 999 strength right now. We don't need defense. About weakness. Flex. It's a strength deck. Where's armaments? No! No, bro. Where's armaments, though? Armaments. Gorgeous. 
that was a nice ironclad run. That ending was also really satisfying. Love it. With the gear to start. The double reaper. I'm happy that that orrery came through. And the act four leads drop limit break is funny. I guess it's a rupture deck. Like, rupture is a card that I would have just held in very low, like poor regard. And you know, it, it's because people tend to think that combust rupture is like good in act one. And it's really not that good because it's slow. You know, that's very, very slow and you're going to need to upgrade that rupture. And, you know, but when you're in a situation like this and Burning Pact is an amazing draw card. Draw and exhaust, it's just outstanding. And the Pommel Strike is Pommel Strike. Pommel Strike Plus. Yeah. So this deck could cycle fast enough to get to the bloodletting. Like, Rupture has been a lot better for me since I stopped undervaluing bloodletting. Was this a floor one bloodletting? Is that correct? Or am I making that up? I feel like that was so long ago. We started with the Geria. I can't remember if we took Sword Boomerang on Floor 1 or if we took Rupture on Floor... Not Rupture, if we took uh, Bloodletting on Floor 1. That was a good Ironclad run. Very solid, standard stuff. And we didn't have a bunch of the tools like, you know, Disarm and... That was a Floor 1 Bloodletting? Man. Bloodletting really is just that good, isn't it? Where you just take it on floor one. When it's up against power through and perfected strike? Wow. <laughs> yeah, I gotta start looking at rupture differently if I'm gonna start looking at bloodletting differently. But I wouldn't take a speculative rupture. I wouldn't do that. But speculative bloodletting, yeah. Yeah, I guess it's totally acceptable. Very nice deck. Couldn't do anything cool with, like, Doofodol. Or whatever. No artifact to keep the mutagens. But, nonetheless. Shuriken Limit Break from the Act 4 Elite. 